Uh, so at the beginning of last summer, my mom signed me and my brother Mac up for Winter Stars, which is a training program for cross-country skiers. And neither me nor my brother Mac cross-country ski, <laughs> but uh, we both play ice hockey, which is a winter sport, just like skiing, so we don't have much to do in the summer. And so she thought it would be a good opportunity for us to just get some exercise and stay in shape for hockey season. And so we thought, all right, great, it'll be something to do in the summer, and it sounds like loads of fun. So, uh, And it was about six days a week, uh, two to three hours a day of different activities and exercises. Sometimes it was roller skiing or hill training or trail running, and it was made out to be this super intense, hardcore program. And the first few days we went, uh, I was kind of surprised because it was, it was like relatively easy. And uh, I had lots of fun, though, and it made me feel great about myself because I could do all the things that they were telling me to, and I could keep up with the rest of the group. And, uh, but as time went on, it got progressively harder. And about two to three weeks in, uh, every time I went, I would totally exhaust myself. I'd be panting and sweating and three miles behind everyone else and I couldn't keep up with anyone and they just all looked like they were out on a Saturday stroll and uh, it was kind of embarrassing. And uh, the coach, uh, his name is Jan Byrne and he's uh, about five feet tall. Uh, he's a Polish and he has a very thick accent and he would always be yelling at us and I think it was motivational but I couldn't tell um, because he didn't speak English very well. And so uh, it was kind of scary. And uh, so anyway, it was, it was just not really my, my type of thing. And I didn't fit in very well. And I never had a lot of fun when I went. So one day, while my brother Mac was driving the two of us out to Kincaid, where the workouts were being held that day, uh, I'm, I was just sitting in the car. I was dreading agreeing to sign up for this. And I was thinking out loud. I was just like, oh, I'm really not looking forward to this. I don't want to go. I can't wait till it's over. And my brother pipes in from across the car. He's like, we could just not go. And uh, <laughs> I was kind of shocked at first. I was like, oh, our mom's going to find out. She's going to be totally pissed. We're going to be grounded forever. And, uh, but I was like, oh, it's better than the alternative. So, <laughs> so, so he drives us to the parking lot of Tasty Freeze, which is, it's right down the road from Kincaid. It's, it's like the first public place you see when you're driving out of the park. And uh, we, we sit in the parking lot in our car, listen to music for about 30 minutes. And after a while, I'm, I'm getting kind of hungry. And I'm like, well, it's Tasty Freeze, it's pretty convenient. And so we both go in and we order cheeseburgers and fries and soda and ice cream and all while we're supposed to be working out, this is. And, and we wait for about two hours till Winter Stars would have been over. And uh, we start the car up and we go home. And for some reason that day, I, I thought my mom would know somehow. She didn't have any reason to, but... She's the type of parent that always knows everything that we do, and she always catches us whenever we're doing anything bad. And uh, so I walked in the door. I was kind of scared. And, uh, but it was just like any other ordinary day, she said cheerfully. Uh, when we walked in the door, she said, how's Winter Stars, boys? And we kind of smirked at each other, and we were like, good. <laughs> uh, and uh, like, haha, we tricked mom. And, uh, and we did, and she didn't find out. And so the next day, when it was time to go to Winter Stars again, uh, we thought, well, we didn't have to go to workouts, and we got to have a great lunch, and no one found out, and we didn't get any trouble, so why not do it again? <laughs> so again, he drives to Tasty Freeze, and we go in, and we eat everything that's on the menu, and... Uh, about two hours pass, and we go back home, and the same thing happens. You know, how's Winter Stars? Oh, it's good. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> and, uh, and she never found out. And so it continued for the entire summer. <laughs> and, uh, and, of course, we uh, widened our horizons past just Tasty Freeze. Eventually, we, 
went out to McDonald's and Arby's and Taco Bell. And, <laughs> and uh, by the end of the summer, we had gone to just about every fast food restaurant and every little coffee hut in the city of Anchorage while we were supposed to be working out. And it was great. It was, sorry. <clears throat> it was great. And uh, we never had to go to workouts and we got to eat like kings and it was amazing. And, uh, but I remember this one day towards the end of the summer, we, uh, we took off for Winter Stars. And I think it was Taco King that day. And uh, we had a great lunch. Uh, it was going great. We didn't think anything was wrong. And we get home, and I expected it to be just like any other ordinary day. But I walk in the door, and I turn right, and all I see is my mom sitting on the living room couch with her arms crossed and that like death glare that your parents give you whenever they've caught you doing something wrong. And she just says in this super sarcastic tone, she just says, how was Winter Stars, boys? <laughs> and, uh, and at that point, we knew that she knew that we weren't where we were supposed to be. And I just, I just turned around to Mac and I'm like, oh, we're so busted. And uh, we were, we got in huge trouble. So what had happened was at the end of the summer when it came time for my mom to pay for all these workouts that we had supposed to have been going to, uh, the coach tells my mom, I understand if you only want to pay half price because they stopped coming. <laughs> and uh, of course, at this point, she thought that we had been going all along. So she found out that we had been skipping our duties almost every day of the entire summer. And of course, she didn't want to have to pay for it. And she was pretty pissed. And we got in huge trouble. My mom took my brother's car away for a couple weeks. and. Uh, not to mention our credit cards, on which we had racked up a huge bill <laughs> of fast food. We probably spent about 250 bucks that month on uh, fast food, and it was a terrible experience at the time. But uh, looking back on it, uh, I see that me and my brother were really brought together, and it really strengthened our relationship. <laughs> And uh, so it made me and my brother a lot closer through our shared rebellion. <laughs> Thank you.